there guys um, today is April 13th and uh, right now I am going down the road here a little ways to go walk a field that my dad and I um, I went and talked to the guy and I think my dad and I scored a uh, 35 acre or so uh, piece of hay ground so I'm gonna go walk that field and put out um, markers wherever there uh, may be potential uh, risks or anything that we have to watch out with the uh, hay mower or rake or baler so anyways um, I'll catch you guys while I'm walking walking the field so see you then all right hey there guys I just got done walking that field and uh, it looks really good um, there's some uh, rocks and part of a drain field that we got to watch out for but um, other than that it looks really good and um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to hanging it this summer and that'll be some of the content so that'll be pretty good, pretty good and we'll get rolling on that and I uh, hope that to follow up with this we'll be reseeding that ground so uh, anyways I'll catch you guys later. hey there guys um, it is Saturday the 14th um, today we are doing our what we call the pincinault piece um, for harrowing and uh, from that fence line there all the way back down I don't know if you guys can see that it was back down there a ways but um, that this piece right here is 50 and then just on the other side of this fence here is another 30 about um, that we use for grazing on that side this side is hay ground and we have the harrow over here and my dad's getting that going um, I gotta go run to um, the piece that I went and did the walk through with um, I need to go over there and have the owner sign a contract so we can have it for have that field for some years and um, we'll get going on that but all right hey guys so I just got back from uh, got back from the house Got my camera bag and all that with me. Uh, back over here at Pensnault, Dad's got I'm getting the field all harrowed up and uh, getting the moss and everything broken up, open up for the, the moisture to come down. So a little bit in there, but anyway, we uh, we got that field for next year, which is pretty good. Uh, 35 acres and. Uh, I think tomorrow, which will be Sunday, we'll head over there after church and get that field rolling and whatnot. And anyways, all that moss getting kicked up and out of there. That's always good. More moss. Yeah. That's the one downfall to, uh, or one of the downfalls to flood irrigation is you have to be constantly on the lookout um, for ditches when you're doing, you know, harrowing or any type of field work, whether it's haying, you know, uh, it's just kind of, it's just kind of in the way with all the other ditches that run anywhere, run everywhere and 
Uh, this summer we're going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing that, so I'll be able to film a little bit, a little bit of that for you guys. So if you don't know what that looks like, you know, I can show you. And so, anyways, uh, it's getting that moss tore up. The moss really kind of restricts the grass, um, so we. That's part of the reason why we come by with the harrow and harrow that up is to break up the moss and get it out of there so it's not restricting the grass root from coming up. And uh, I believe we broadcast seeded this um, three years ago. I don't know if it was here or farther up there, but uh, either way, we uh, broadcast seeded everything a few years ago. That was this, Blenderman, and our place at the time. And then um, here in a few weeks or so, gotta hook up the sprayer and put it at the back of my truck and then um, do some videos on that. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. But uh, anyway, I'll continue on.
in the back portion of the uh, 35 acres. Uh, we got some cows over on that side of us, and uh, the rest of it's all pasture. But uh, we're getting wrapped up here. The seeds dwindling down. Um, those storm clouds didn't come and get us, so that's it's always a plus. Uh, it is pretty soft out here, though. So we have to be careful. Um, we're gonna finish this part up. We left some stuff out front because it was just too soft, and we'll come back, swing by, and grab that. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna film us getting loaded back up on the trailer and heading out, and get some clips of get some clips of us heading out too, and then uh, we'll go on from there, and then I'll do a closing when I get home. So I'm back over here at Pinsonal and uh, I am gonna drop the trailer here for now because tomorrow after school I gotta head over here and finish up over there on that centerpiece that we skipped on um, So we can head over there today, but uh, we're gonna get rolling on that uh, Tomorrow, but for right now I am going to drop the trailer like I said and then head home and then I'm gonna start editing this video for um, for posting it up hopefully Tuesday night um, I'll finish videoing this, obviously tonight uh, which is Sunday and then I've got to edit and I think I'm gonna start doing that tonight if not tomorrow night and then <coughs> I uh, plan on having this one up on Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, we'll get her get her rolling. But anyways, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this vlog video deal. Um, but I will not completely end it until we have a startup of the old 7-3. So I'm going to close you guys out right now and then I'm going to go start her up with the GoPro video on it. So. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and try and hit 50 by the time summertime rolls around. Um, I'm going to try and get my buddy out here with his drone and get some shots of uh, haying and everything. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you again in another video.